You know what grinds a scissor lift to a halt? This silver control box right here. Nearly 30% of lift failures start with this part. Ever had that uneasy feeling wobbling up high, wondering if your lift's gonna hold? Today, we're diving into the ultimate buying guide for Skyjack control boxes, especially the SJ3219. The control box is the brains of your aerial lift. So it uses proportional control. Think of it like a gas pedal for hydraulics. So the harder you push or the more input you give, the smoother it adjusts the oil flow to eliminate jerks and keep your lift steady. So how do you choose the right control box? First things first, check how many pins are on the control box connector. So the SJ3219, it uses an eight pin male plug. If you're missing even one, your lift might jerk or get stuck. Next up, confirm your old control box's dimensions. So measure the length, the width, the height to ensure the perfect fit. Third, compatibility. The safest way to make sure it fits? Always check the part number. For the SJ3219, the correct control box part number is SJ-163167. And the last one is voltage. The control box voltage has to match your lift's power supply. So common options are 12 volt DC, 24 volt DC, and 48 volt DC, and they are not interchangeable. Make sure you choose the one that matches your machine's voltage. All right, now let's talk maintenance. Regularly check your Skyjack control box connections, wiring, look for loose fittings, frayed wires, corrosion, Give it a quick look over every month, and then once a year, have a certified tech do a full inspection. Clear out the dust, the debris, critters' nests. This will keep your rig running longer and safer. Then keep a maintenance logbook, so jot down dates, what you checked, any fixes you made. Trust me, that paper trail will save you so many headaches down the road by spotting issues early. And that's the lowdown on your Skyjack control box care. If this helped, Hit that like button, subscribe for more tips, and drop a comment below with your own tricks or questions. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.